Differentiation is a well-known, widely practiced teaching skill. It's the way that most teachers modify their lessons to fit the needs of every child in their classroom. However, it's not just an instructional, but also a cultural practice for our students. Here's why. Our society values the individual. Students like to be recognized for what makes them interesting and special. It's understood that students think differently, reason differently, and therefore learn differently than one another. Teachers are expected to accommodate the many ways their students understand instructional content. For this reason, teachers will fall short of helping their students if they rely on traditional, one plan fits all teaching methods. Instead, they should take every opportunity to learn new ways of teaching their content to make it resonate for all the different children in their classroom. In the words of educational motivator Ignacio Estrada, if a child can't learn the way we teach, maybe we should teach the way they learn. Think of it this way. In order for teachers to be successful, they must also be students. When you learn about the needs of the children you teach, you are more likely to find teaching strategies that work for them. One way teachers make sure everyone can learn is to get to know each student on such a personal level that they understand how they will learn best. This belief in the unique value of each child is at the heart of the teacher-student relationship. It shows that you care not only about your content, but also the way your students will understand, remember, and apply it in the future. Take inventory of your students' different personality types, skills, and strengths. Then use that knowledge to make your content interesting and approachable for them. Plan your lessons based on your findings. This might mean exploring your students' different backgrounds, personal interests, and educational history. Successful teachers differentiate for their students. However, they also change their methods of teaching as the students grow. Therefore, planning for every student's academic growth is a continual process. A teacher cannot rely on one tried and true method for all students, class after class, year after year. Their teaching must adapt to fit the changing patterns of student learning that come with time, new instructional tools, and cultural shifts. This takes research, professional development, and talking to colleagues about practices that work. As a teacher, you are obligated to help each child find individual ways to understand their content. When you do this, you send a clear message to your students. I see you, I respect your differences, and I'm going to give you the tools you need to do well in my class. Your support of each individual student will give everyone the best opportunity to grow and thrive. 